Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current. Deep, deep to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah. And there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If she is a Jedi, she will forgive. And if she is not, she will not care. You can't tell her. Please. I'm asking you. I don't want her to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars... I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this woman we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve her until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten... You will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scow like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship. And the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? Th no. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches.
I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hawk. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Necessary? The destruction of Paragus was necessary? You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking, putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? No, your crime is much more than that. Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. Whatever force they can bring to bear, it will matter not. If they face a true Jedi, they shall fall. You offer your aid after turning your back on me, on the Council, the Jedi is not something you embrace out of fear. The commitment is stronger than that, something you never seem to understand. Perhaps. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, gain their trust. Perhaps our defences shall be stronger for it. Take your ship, seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantuin. From there we can call a council and see what can be done. Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. We shall remove her, mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile reminded me of something. I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself, but not now. 
She will never make me doubt myself again. But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. The Exile, the one Atris warned us about. She said, you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. That is not all, she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. You may ask. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. There is no need to apologize. You were merely remarking on something that you saw. There is no wrong in that. You may ask. She said you betrayed... That is not... Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up. Atris says, when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with him because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force. So it was a matter of choice then. If Atris has erred in her evaluation of your motivations, it might be best to inform her. I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Yes, it is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. Then her expressed feelings will have to suffice. You may ask. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Please, I wish to know. I see. Thank you, Exile. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me.
Why have you approached me? You will find them in the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. It is not part of my duties. Free them yourself. Then you must leave this place. Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atris has given you permission to leave this place, and permission to return if you remain in her service. There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. <gasps> I see it now. The act has left its marks. Be warned. Unresolved events from our past can create wounds in the present and the future. And, more importantly, they can distract you, weaken you. It could prove fatal against the enemies we face. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Plans are fragile things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the Force. No, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls, trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well, even if they were Force-sensitive. Invade the mind of another? It is not something done carelessly, or when there is nothing to be gained. Very well. Let us depart. <sighs> He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. I am sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? 
This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you or join you at the ship. Very well, General. Why have you approached me? Hey, do all these women look alike? <laughs> Not like I'm complaining, I mean, it's... Well, it's uh, interesting. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Oops. 
Ah, hey. You're back with us. We were just on our way to rescue you from those ghost women when, uh, we got locked up. Ah, don't worry about me, I'm fine. Uh, how did things go with the Jedi here? Are you all done? Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to hear. No, I was just complaining. <laughs> I'm with you until things start going better for you. We need to stick together, you know? And who knows? I might be able to help you out of a tight spot at some point. Ah, hey. No mention it. <laughs> it's my pleasure. General? This place looks part of a huge polar irrig... I'm fine, General. Well, now that we're off that Dejaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. seem to have found it. Do you know why we have called you here? As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi? Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? It is good you recognize this. It means you will understand why you must leave us. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When she was here, I felt it. It was as if she was not there, more like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. She has lost herself. She is no Jedi. She walked Revan's path, but she was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. 
we are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. She has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let her depart. She will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with her, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let her go because we must. Where she travels, she carries her destination with her. Malachor V should have been her grave. You saw it in her walk and in the Force. It was as if she was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and she cuts like a blade through it. We should have told her the truth. A Jedi deserved to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years we will call her before us and explain what happened to her, and how she may be healed. Until then, she must accept her journey. But she may never discover the truth, and she will never know why we cast her out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? A strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. I don't know, General, but whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you, and if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. Got a minute? I'm a little busy here. What is it? Won't take more than a minute. All right, I'll work. Oh, you talk. Look, your friend, the Jedi, you know her from way back, don't you? How much do you know about her, really? Her? You mean the General? Yeah, during the war, if that's what you mean by way back. Can't say I know too much about her, though. Better than anyone else on this ship. Just give me your opinion, okay? And don't laugh. I'm trying to work here, Atten. I was just wondering if you thought maybe she and I might... You're being serious. You said you wouldn't laugh. You are being serious. Atten, she was a general. I was just a tech. Your guess is about as good as mine. Well, what's your guess, then? I'm getting back to work. Hey! I'm being serious here! All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you, too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am not pushing you around. Good. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like... I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes... Yes. Have you come with questions? Very well. The knowledge has already been... Something up? All right. Something up? Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. Salvagers are stripping it of anything valuable. Mostly they're collecting trash the Jedi left behind. The Enclave was bombed during the war, so there's not much left. But since you're a salvager, I expect you already know all that. Is that how you justify it, then? You'll need to see... Kunde is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared. The administrator rebuilt it, and now... Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers, unless they get permit. Just head into the building, and you'll find your...